Yo, Daniel, how in the world do you have a knife in the lobby? How did that happen, bro? Yeah, but believe it or not, guys, Easter is actually less than a week away. Yeah, I didn't think so either. I had to look it up, and apparently it's gonna be this Sunday. So since Easter is so close, it kind of makes me wonder if we're actually gonna get anything for Easter this year. Since we know last year, we actually did get something for Easter. And of course, we had an Easter bundle way back in the day for 2016. So I sort of wanted to talk about if we did get something for Easter, what could it be, and how would we get Get this item so if you guys are excited make sure to like comment and subscribe let's get right into it the first let's talk about some ways that you could potentially get an item for easter the first and most obvious way that we could get one is for being a shop godly even though people are a huge fan of shop godlies, there is a small chance that we might actually see something for easter we didn't actually see anything for valentine's this year which was a little bit unfortunate but easter is a bit of a bigger holiday than valentine's i mean some of the biggest events on roblox were easter eggs hunt in the game so even though we did miss out on a valentine's godly they might still want to do an easter godly there's definitely a chance that we could do that it would probably be for 16.99 robux how most shop gollies cost i mean joven's legit dressed up as an easter bunny right now so that could mean something maybe not but hopefully if we do get something for easter hopefully the godly won't be around for months long since as we know egg blade was obtainable until like july easter is not in july that don't make any sense but but to be fair, we are experiencing Christmas in April, since you can still buy the Christmas stuff to this day, if you do have Robux. The second way we might get something for Easter is actually something I feel like a lot of people could be interested in, and it is something that we already saw in the game before, but we could potentially see an Easter bundle in the game, like we did see in 2016. For those who don't know, for Easter 2016, they get an Easter event that was like, there was an Easter bundle in the game, and you would get like six commons if you spent like 200 coins on them each which was very cool items like the bunny knife the tulip knife the eggs knife and stuff were all in there we could potentially see something like that again where we could see some easter knives come into the game for a small price i think that'd be super cool but we haven't seen something like that in so long it's been a very long time since we saw bundles come into the game i'm pretty sure the easter bundle was the most recent bundle that got added nicholas flat out removed the obtainable bundles when season one released like the skate bundle and the sparkle time bundle like he legit removed those in season one release which is kind of weird so bundles might just be a thing of the past but it would be cool to bring them back i'd be down the third way i've thought of and probably the least likely way but also would be the coolest way to see like an easter event release in the game like a full-on event i think it'd be very cool to see an event that's not actually halloween or christmas related but still have a decent chunk of things to do in the event even though we are a little bit tired of events at this point since that's all we've really been seeing in murder mystery 2 for big updates nowadays but it wouldn't be Halloween or Christmas related, so you can't really be too mad. It's not like the same thing every year. You can potentially see like an Easter main event, an Easter box, some Easter godlies, and who knows, maybe there'll be like an Easter bunny that can give you an Easter ancient if you have like enough Easter eggs or something. I doubt that's gonna happen. I feel like if that were to happen, we'd probably have some hints to it happening in the future. Did you know for Halloween and Christmas of last year, we did get some hints like way before the update even started that it was coming into the game. And I mean, I guess you could technically say we got them hints for an easter godly this year the freaking carablade but also you guys have to realize we got hinted about that on uh, april 1st so i think it's safe to say that that wasn't really a real easter hint or anything you know i do actually have a video in mind talking about what an easter event could look like like i have something in mind that could be different from halloween and christmas you might see that video later this week uh, you'll have to see i'm not really sure but now i kind of want to point out some ideas for like some easter godlies that could come into the game the first and most obvious is a uh, carrot blade since as i was talking about i don't know if you did hint that a carrot blade for april 1st like he made a whole design for it, it was kind of cool now he put in the effort to design a carrot knife for april fool's day since a lot of people did think that the leak that i don't know if you sent was easter related but again that was an april fool's joke so i don't think that's actually really going to be coming into the game but we go to see like a different design like carrot knife come into the game i mean that'd be kind of cool for a carrot godly knife i think it would be more likely it would be like an easter godly godly gun instead because we don't have any easter guns in the game like not a single one you won't even have any easter common gun so it kind of sucks as you guys can see i legit have to use jingle gun right now since i don't have any easter guns since 
there aren't any in the game. But I also have a very interesting idea for an Easter gun in mind. That would be an Easter egg launcher that could come into the game. I feel like an Easter egg launcher would be more fitting for an ancient tier. Because usually if a weapon has like some special attributes, like if it's like an axe or a scythe or most recently a crossbow would become an ancient. And since an Easter egg launcher is like kind of a crazy concept for a gun, maybe it would be ancient tier. But I do think it would be very interesting. And there are Roblox Easter egg launchers on the website since of course we've had Easter egg hunts in Roblox and there were Easter egg launchers there which was kind of where I got the idea from but if an Easter egg launcher is a little bit too crazy for Murder Mystery 2 we could just see like a, a, a normal Easter gun that could come in the game like here's this Easter godly gun from Murder Mystery X that could be cool to see in the game I mean obviously it won't in this from another game but like as like, a concept it could be kind of cool to see like a bunny godly gun in the game but yeah that's about all of my ideas so let me know what you guys think will there be an Easter update will there not I mean we don't really know but if there was an easter godly knife or gun to come to the game uh what could it look like be sure to let me know i'm murder right now but for some reason i'm like dropping frames right now it might not look like it in recording but like I don't know, I'm kind of laggy right now, so I'm gonna try to win this murder around right now. I just killed the sheriff instantly, which is a good sign. But I am using- what? Oh, come on, bro. Yeah, I remember the guy at the beginning of the video? Apparently he's a hacker. I, I, I can't kill him, that's why I have the knife in the lobby, so that sucks. At least he can't pick up the gun, though. I don't know if I'll win this round since, of course, this hacker's chilling. But I'll still try! Or I did actually win the round. So I guess the hacker was dead and he teleported into the round, I guess. So that's kind of cool. But yeah, that's about it to this video. So until next time, goodbye.